I haven't been in this uh, showbiz thing for very long, but I have learned when in doubt, start with a pretty girl. So, everybody meet the shop owner, the owner of Underground Tattoo, Kristen Chandler. Woo! Can you hear me? You want to get right up on it. No, you got to get... I don't want to lick it. I don't know who's drunk well, on it. Oh. <laughs> Did you watch it? Don't, don't lick what the microphone. <laughs> but... You, this is going to be a questionable show. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, Kristen here obviously is a saint uh, opening up her studio to... Uh oh, sorry. Rookie. <laughs> I didn't know. Do you, I don't even know to make it quiet. Hold on. There we go. All right. And you, know, you would think, or maybe at least I did, that uh, you, know, you meet someone who's in this, this business of this overt expression that they would not be terrified to express themselves, but uh, Kristen's a little anxious. Are you anxious still? Yeah. But tell everybody uh, uh, how you got in, into the business and, and when you opened up this particular studio. Okay, the studio, we have been here since 2003. Mm -hmm. um, I got into the business by accident. I didn't want to work. My friend's like, hey, come work a desk. I'm like, I don't want to work a desk. I don't want to work. He's like, come on. Start a desk working. at a studio? Yeah, so I started working the desk and ended up falling in love with it. And so you originally started out doing piercings, correct? I originally started off being a receptionist, then I went on to doing piercings, then opened up my own studio, and then after that started tattooing. All right. So uh, what do you prefer, what do you like more, piercings or, or do you doing piercings or giving tattoos? Both of them, really. So but you got to pick depends. one. The host asked you a question. Piercing, we're live. Okay, why is that? It's over and done with like that. Oh, well, yeah. Is it like, is it like a high markup? Is it like a... You make more money on that because bing, bang, boom. <laughs> so, um, we talk. <laughs> She's just not going to do this. Uh, so, people get a uh, comment. What's the most. We're going to exclude certain anatomical regions, but what's the what's the part of the body that people. Uh, uh, is most uncomfortable to get to get pierced? Uncomfortable? Like. No. It seemed like your tongue would be the one that would. That's actually the easiest one. How? Really? Mm hmm. Do we know the science behind that? Do we have a reason? <laughs> have you ever bit your tongue and then it's like done over and over? It hurts. For a second. And it's done. Puss, so, <laughs> so, uh, but the, so if it's not the tongue, well, what what hurts the most based on people's reaction? Cartilage. Cartilage. Yeah, probably cartilage and nose. Septum. So where's the cart? Yeah. The septum? <sighs> septum. Uh, <laughs> here? Is it here? I feel like I would sneeze for like a hundred years. Like I would just keep... <laughs> no. Make sure eyes water. <laughs> I haven't had it done yet, my eyes are watering. Uh, so, uh, what is what is the occurrence, uh, we'll say number of times per month, that people come in to get intimate body parts pierced? I don't know. You know. <laughs> Once is is like is like a it just it comes in phases. Like there'll be, like I'll get a group of people and then I'll do like twenty genitals in twenty like what? Oh genitals. Yeah, like in a, I thought she in said a turtles. week and then <laughs> yeah turtles. Kind of the same thing. If you know the middle. Like they're using code words. <laughs> <laughs> they all like well, every industry has this. Yeah, every industry has this jargon. I was like, they call it turtles. So it kind of goes in in ways. Now now. Yeah. Contrary to what I would have thought, uh, and it's been a, I've been a seep on the learning curve this week, uh, you guys can't give out, uh, am I correct, you can't give a tattoo to someone who smells of or is obviously intoxicated. No, we cannot. So, it, like, and it's so, that's, seems like would be what people would need. I mean, you know, like, the, you, know, the, you know, the whole mythology around the first tattoo, the first piercing or the turtle piercing, <laughs> seems to be closely tied to being drunk or having or having to get drunk. Yeah, but, but you don't make adjustments after you drink. Well, <laughs> I think we're saying the same thing with different words. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> this is exactly what I'm saying. But that's just not the case. If someone comes in and you even smell, and you guys are like, you tell the line, you can't even mess with that. No. Uh, raise your hands or, or hand. <laughs> this is a stick up. Raise your hand if you do not have a tattoo. Wow. <laughs> Wait, hang on. Hold on. One, two. Kevin, you got a tattoo? I got two of them. You got two of them. So, okay, well, you're a young man, you know. <laughs> Yet. 
Uh, raise your hand if you've got ink here. Raise well, or your hands. I, I got it by the artist that's here. Okay, that's that's pretty close. Well, um, uh, what what are your thoughts about being a, a part of, of of Carrie's big? This is a big deal for her. I think it's awesome. For one, it's her first tattoo. Two, it's gonna be something that's gonna mean something. We're gonna make an impact for the rest of her life. Well, I figure most people uh, have a tattoo. Uh, have uh, have one that or they get to get, get they get tattoos have one that really is like symbolic or significant of a major thing in their lives what's it like to be like a custodian be a part of that process do you feel like does it make you do you feel pressure do you feel like you're a partner in their life i mean do you even think it, do, you, do you see it in those terms at all or do you just do the work no you see it as part of their life really yeah what do you tell the, uh, the carries to, to calm their nerves before their first piercing or tattoo you want on the pool table yeah, it could be worse. Well, there's always going to be something that's been that's worse than your tattoo. There's all... There's How optimistic. All, all but have you had kids? Yeah. How is it okay. worse? Have you ever had a child kidnapped? Well, no. That's well, worse than a tattoo. Line. Stubbing your toe. Have you seen Taken? Clearly a worse experience. <laughs> I would be like... like so, toe stubbing. Yes, I stub my toes all the time. All right, so that's gonna be worse. We're gonna hold you to that uh, comparison. Mm -hmm. Carrie, does that give? You, does that bring you comfort? Okay, so uh, what's the? Have you ever been asked to do a tattoo where you, uh, or or a piercing where you were just like seriously, really, you want me to do this? This is a horrible idea. Don't do this. I've had an 18-year-old girl ask me if I would tattoo stars on the side of her face. Uh huh. And she asked me how much I would charge, and I told her that I wouldn't because I'm not doing it. So you made a judgment call because... There's things like that where you get into where you can see they're young and you know that's not going to be something that's going to be beneficial. And it's like, no, I'm not even going to mess with that. Well, I think that's a very important role that you play. Uh, do, you, do you help... I, I guess you help people. I know you have these catalogs with all these samples. Uh, do you help people kind of find what uh, art image would work best for them? Do you, or do you yeah, just... Yeah, just kind of use what we tell people to do is come in and give us a base idea of what they want. And then from there, if they find something they like, we can always change it, or we can draw stuff. Just kind of, if they give us an idea of what direction they want to go with, we can take it from there and keep on going. How did the girl react to your don't get the star tattoo? Uh, she kind of huffed and puffed and told me, my mom will like you, and kind of walked off. She's, oh, my mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My, my mom would like you? Yeah. Whose feelings is that supposed to hurt? I'm really not sure. That's the worst insult I've ever heard. People would like you. <laughs> Likeable ass. But uh, do, you, do you feel like uh, do you feel like the advice? <laughs> I never. That's. I wish people would insult me that way instead of the many more colorful and meaningful ways they use. Um, uh, do you feel like the advice stuck with her? Do you think she went, Do you think she thought twice, or do you feel like she just went down to the next place to? Nothing. Have you seen her at the it. mall? I mean, okay. No, I haven't seen uh. her at the mall. <laughs> uh, hey, star. <laughs> well, that is. I mean, was it going to be her first tattoo, or did she have tattoos? She didn't have any tattoos. She was just going. Around. <laughs> did she have any? No. And that was going to be yeah. I want you to tattoo unemployable right across my face, but put it backwards so I can read it in the mirror. <laughs> ah, yes, I remember. Well, <laughs> I will. <laughs> your social security number. <laughs> Steal this identity. Uh, uh, here's what we're going to do. We're going to let you off the hook. Everybody yeah. say hi to your